In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question bitwise and of numbers range. So the problem statement is given a range. So start point and end point where M is greater than equal to zero and it is less than equal to N and where N is greater than equal to M, but it is, it is less than equal to the integer max value. So we have to return the bitwise end of all numbers in this range inclusive inclusive it means we have to also include the value of m and n and before uh, seeing the examples let's let's understand what is bitwise and operator so bitwise and is a binary operator it means it uh, it works with the binary representation of a number and it returns one if both the bits are ones else it returns zero for example so uh, this is the binary representation of seven and this is the binary representation of four and in this example you can see when both the bits are one it returns one and when both the bits are different i mean one bit is uh, so this is one and this is zero so it returns zero and we get the final output uh, which is four so this is the property of bitwise end operator now let's see uh, the examples so in the first example we have to find the bitwise end of all numbers in this range so five six and seven so we 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 have to include uh, this number five and seven as well so let's see the binary representation of five so the binary representation of five is zero one zero one and the binary representation of six is one one zero and the binary representation of seven is zero one one and let's do the uh, bitwise end operator so bitwise and operator so bitwise end is also represented with ampersand sign single ampersand sign so when we do the bitwise end of uh, these three bit it is zero as uh, this bit is zero similarly here also it is zero and uh, this one is one and this is zero so uh, this is the binary representation of four so we get four as an output and in the second example uh, we have given uh, the range from 0 to 1 so 0 and 1 so so if we do the binary representation of 0 then it is on this 4 times 0 and for 1 it is 0 0 0 and 1 and when we do the bitwise and of these two numbers so this is 0 and rest all are 0 and this is the binary representation of zero so we get zero as an output and in example three uh, for one it is zero 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 one and two it is zero zero one zero and three it is zero zero one one and four it is zero one zero and zero and for five we represent as zero one zero one and so for the these bits we get zero again here zero and for these bits also zero and zero so we get zero as an output the important point here is bitwise and of any two numbers will always produce a number less than or equal to the smaller number and we have already seen this in our examples so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem the simplest approach to solve this problem is to run a loop from this point to this point and in each iteration do the bitwise end for example in first iteration we do the bitwise end between these two numbers and we get the result 4 and in next iteration we do the bitwise end between uh, the result which we get in previous uh, iteration and with 7 and we get the result 4 so the final result is 4 and in between we have to handle certain condition so uh, I have declared one variable result and initially assign 5 here and if both the numbers so let's say if the range is from 5 to 5 it's a valid range so if both uh, both the numbers are same in that case the bitwise and of these two number is 
uh, same I mean 5 so we simply return any of the numbers else we run a loop and when we run a loop so we start from 6 so we already assign the starting point in this result variable we start with 6 so we did the bitwise of uh, 5 and 6 and also we check while doing the bitwise end if the result is 0 then simply return 0 0 if we do the bitwise end of 0 with any number it will always give you a uh, 0 so ne no need to uh, do the next iteration and perform the bitwise end again simply return 0 and this condition is for handling the integer max value so let me explain to understand this condition let's take uh, this range as an input and uh, this is the integer max value and this is the uh, one less than the integer max value so what we do is we first perform bitwise and between these two numbers and we get some result and if this condition is not present then in next iteration we add one to this number so it is the integer max value when we add a plus one uh, in this uh, number then we uh, I mean shift to this negative range so this is the integer range integer so any uh, any number between this range to this range we can accommodate uh, in in type in variable of n type so it will shift to this range and uh, this uh, this number is lesser than uh, this number so again we start performing uh, the uh, uh, the bitwise and between two numbers and we get some arbitrary result so this condition here is uh, ensure that if we reach at the integer max value so whatever the result we get till now simply return it we don't uh, need to proceed further uh, so this condition ensures that so now let's talk about uh, the time and space complexity of this approach so the time complexity is o n and its space complexity is o1 for large range uh, this approach uh, might give you the uh, time limit exceed warning so let's optimize it and let's see how we can solve this problem efficiently let's discuss a better approach to solve this problem and to understand this problem let's write all the number and its representation in binary format inclusive uh, these two numbers as well and here i have uh, written the 8-bit format and let's do the bitwise and and when we do the bitwise and of these bits we get zero as one zero is there similarly for this we get zero and here we get one and rest all are zeros and we know that the bitwise uh, bitwise end of all these numbers we get four here but have you noticed one thing the resultant is the common prefix between m to n so the common prefix is this one so the result we get is because of this common prefix between m to n and why is that because in this part in this part at least one zero is present so we get uh, zero here so instead of finding the common prefix uh, between all the numbers we can find the common prefix of these two numbers for m and n so the common prefix of these two number is same as the common prefix of all the numbers so uh, we need to find the common prefix between these two numbers so what we can do is we can uh, do the right shift till we uh, we get the common prefix between these two number and uh, we know that how many times we have done the right shift and after that if we do the left shift by that number of times then we get the answers so right shift means so we know that the result is between uh, because of this common prefix resultant uh, result is because of this common prefix and rest are zero so if we keep doing the right shift until we get the common prefix until the m and n is not equal and we also keep track uh, that how many times we did the right shift and after that we do the left shift by that number of time we get uh, the uh, actual results so let's visualize it 
so let's do the right shift until m and n the value of m and n is not equal so the binary representation of 5 and 7 is this one so this is the 8 bit representation and when we do the right uh, right shift then we have to shift this part and when we shift this part we get 2 and 3 so you can see this one we have removed this bit and now actually right shift means we are dividing a number by 2 so you can see uh, here we get 2 and here we get 3 and again when we do uh, the right shift so 2 and 3 are not equal so again we need to do the right shift and when we do the right shift we get the number so we remove uh, this bit uh, from both the numbers 0 and 1 so we get the number which is 1 and 1 and now it is equal and how many times we did the right shift so we we have found the common prefix and now if we do that much time of uh, i mean if we do the left shift that number of time we get the final answer and when we do the left shift by that number of time so we get uh, this binary representation which is uh, four here and that's uh, uh, the logic of uh, this approach so what we are doing is uh, we are finding the common prefix and we are uh, running a while loop until m and n is not equal and we are doing the right shift by uh, by one position and we are also incrementing the value of count that how many times uh, we did the right shift and after that uh, uh, we did the uh, left shift by that number of time so we get the answer so uh, this is the logic of solving uh, this problem and that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video